us we saw cylindrical projection how a cylindrical projection is mathematically modified and it is made orthomorphic and we give them a name mercator projection in this class today we will see conical projection and for that i need a volunteer hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey so we draw graticules light source and we place sheet in the form of cone so where is sheet is touching the sheet is touching at a particular parallel of latitude so it touches only at one place that is point of tangency light source is at the center of the earth and this point of tangency i can choose by changing this angle cone angle where you want your cone to touch just simple if i reduce the angle that's how it will here it will touch okay if i change the angle can you see where you want to touch make your cone touch point of tangency so that's what can be chosen by changing this cone angle okay so what do we do we make a cone out of it exactly like birthday cap and let's see how this projection will come any volunteer now we will see conical projection so all you do is you make a cap or other a cone so we'll see how they are constructed so you draw graticule light source at the center of the earth and we make a cone out of paper and by changing the cone angle just imagine where it is touching it is touching only at a particular parallel of latitude and that's what is called standard parallel and how you choose standard parallel you just change the cone angle if you increase cone angle you will go at higher latitude if you reduce the cone angle you will go at low latitude so just imagine how meridian will be shown on this you switch on the light and you get the projection that's how this meridian will come there will be straight line correct they all straight lines converging towards nearest pole that's how it will be any other way you can think of okay so that is your meridians wherever it is touching that's how your standard parallel will be there now what is happening either side of the standard parallel the relationship between sheet and the earth surface the distance is increasing and we saw in the previous class as the area which you are projecting when it goes away from the sheet the projection size keeps increasing so what will happen in this case the sheet is where the scale is correct where it is touching that is at latitude of origin or that the sheet is touching at standard parallel okay and now let's say above this that's how this next parallel of latitude will be there above and similarly below also what about the next one the distance will increase up the sheet is going away i hope you can visualize wherever it is touching the scale is correct now what is happening this side and this side the sheet is going away from the earth surface can you visualize sphere inside where it is touching if you look here it is only at particular 
standard parallel or parallel of latitude you go away this distance will increase and what about this side this distance will further increase so parallel of latitudes are arc of concentric circle not equidistant from each other the distance between them will increase away from standard parallel you cut it open and you get the projection that's the projection which you get exactly like this thank you okay so you get this kind of projection it is just a cone imagine birthday cap on the globe it is touching only at one place and that you can choose whatever angle you want okay now based on that when you cut open this that's how this projection comes Let's see. I cut open this cone, and then I spread it like this. I hope you are imagining. This is the whole cone, which I have just opened it. Okay. That's how these lines are coming. If you see. Okay. This is your. standard parallel where the sheet is touching the point of tangency this we refer it as standard parallel okay now this is your standard parallel these are your meridians now parallel of latitude now whatever the distance from here the next distance will increase either side the scale will expand either side of standard parallel have you understood the properties are very clear meridians are straight line converging towards nearest pole parallel of latitudes are arc of arcs of concentric circles not equidistant from each other the distance between them will increase either side of the standard parallel now on this chart okay if i draw a straight line let's say i draw a straight line this is great circle i told you the only way to identify whether it is a great circle or dumb line just see how it is cutting the meridian is it cutting equal angle no so it is great circle dumb line obviously great circle is always towards the nearest pole so this will be your dumb line because it is cutting all meridian at equal angle so coming back to the properties great circle is almost a straight line why i said almost we will see later and rumb line is a curved line concave to the nearest pole or equator okay clear on this so this is your conical projection but again there is a problem the problem is that the scale is correct at standard parallel either side of the standard parallel it starts expanding again so it is no longer a orthomorphic projection okay i understanding this distance in this direction is north south direction is increasing where this is same so again there is a problem with this so again we have to do something and we will see that let's see a term which you will see in your exams also called constant of cone because this constant of cone decides what is the difference in longitude and what you are seeing on the chart that is convergence okay because convergence is difference in longitude into sine of latitude correct that was convergence on the ground which is there 
Now on the map, the inclination which you are seeing between two meridian, the angle between two meridian which you are seeing is convergence. Actually, it should be same as on the earth. If you want exactly, the problem was that on the Mercator chart it was zero. Here it is affected by you have this angle plus you are introducing another angle on this. So that's get affected. It is not, it will not show you exact. So convergence was actually so whatever whatever the difference in longitude, okay, it will be same at poles, but elsewhere it is changing as sign of latitude. The sign of latitude we refer it as constant of cone, which is actually speaking what is shown on the map or chart to what actually it is there on the earth. That is constant of cone, means it is a ratio of, it is means it is ratio of what you are seeing, seeing on the map and how much is the actual d long between them. Okay, that is constant of cone and you can find the value. Let us say you will find the question in exam given, okay, uh, the constant of cone on a Lambert chart is point seven eight find the latitude it's very simple all you need to do is you have to find latitude so sign of latitude will be what sign of latitude means this constant of cone the value of n is point seven eight are you understanding this value of convergence it is less than one so what you are seeing this constant of cone is n is 0.78. That's how you see the question. What is the latitude of the uh, latitude on the map? So it will be very simple. Latitude will be sine inverse of 0.78. Okay, please do and see how much it is. Kabhi angle kabhi point bhi nahi hota. Angle is always in degree and minutes. So how much? 51 degree and 15 minute north or south anywhere the constant of cone this is a more of a theoretical thing okay even you will find question in your question bank only thing is when you get the answer you have to multiply by this factor point seven eight something like this okay you have this question even in your question bank also so it is very simple how to find constant of cone because at every latitude will be different because it is function of sine of latitude clear on this but the problem is that the moment the flat sheet you put on the globe, it will touch only at one point and then it will start going away. Correct? That is the problem. So you have to do something. Okay. So what do we do? Instead of choosing one standard parallel, that is point of tangency, we use two. Okay. It looks weird, absolutely weird that how a straight sheet can make, can touch at two point. It can't because it will always touch only at one point. So that is done mathematically. So instead of having one point of tangency, we have two. The whole idea is when we do this is to reduce the distance between earth surface and the sheet. Okay. So obviously it is done mathematically how it is done is not really a problem. So instead of one standard parallel, we choose two. In the sense, something like, something like this, rather than sheet going out Mathematically, we bring it inwards, okay. In the sense having one, instead of having one standard parallel, we have two standard parallel. Just imagine, okay, yellow is your earth, correct? Yellow is your earth, so let's say I draw earth like this. 
this is a projection which you want correct if you just put a one sheet what happens it goes tangentially away and the problem starts the scale is correct only wherever it is touching either side you go the scale start expanding so what i want to achieve is that i want to bring sheet as close to earth surface rather than going out i bring it in something like this okay so this is green is your sheet and yellow is all surface now look at the difference between yellow line and green line they are almost same although there is a difference now the difference is other way around the green is your sheet the green sheet size is less than the yellow so actually speaking the scale is reducing this that's how you do it like i said it is not our problem how it is done so rather than having one standard parallel we choose two standard parallel this is parallel not 11 okay i have seen person talking so it's standard 11 okay i hope you know this is the symbol for parallel lines okay it's very interesting what you have done you have prevented the sheet to go away and scale to expand in fact the scale is contracted now aapki sheet is in green color and the earth surface is in yellow color correct but this contraction is acceptable practically when they make it it is less than 1% so we ignore we can ignore it so you can take it whatever the earth uh, area is or what you want to project it is come correctly on the green sheet the scale remains constant within this to actually speaking the exact scale is correct at this two standard parallel in between them now the scale is contracting because your earth surface yellow is more and green is less let's say if it is 101 this is 100 only that is the difference so that's why it is ignored it is less than 1% in fact if it is 100.5 so this is 100 so that's why you can ignore it so that's why the scale is considered constant within these two standard parallel and the person who did okay he gave the actual correct name is lambert's conical orthomorphic or also called sim conform it conforms to the direction conformic between two standard parallel actually speaking this is the correct name but normally we call it jepson conical conformic or jepson conformic conical projection that's what in short what we call it because what happens away from these two standard parallel the sheet start going away again have you understood so between these two the scale is constant the midway latitude the half way latitude between this this is referred as latitude of latitude of origin okay half way so that's actually the, that's why the he gave the, because he says it is orthomorphic only between this two standard parallel and this how you choose this two standard parallel by changing this cone angle but normally it is you'll find lambert orthomorphic conical projection that is in the books and everywhere is given but the person lambert he gave this name okay it is basically a exact definition of this in the sense between these two is okay outside i don't have any guarantee because the sheet starts going away the scale projection start now rest everything remains same okay the appearance the scale within this is now the scale is 
correct in all the direction and this we can use it for navigation appearance is same exactly like what we studied in uh, conical projection this line is a grid circle it is not cutting all meridian at equal angle rum line is a line which cuts all meridian at equal angle this is your rum line clear on this like i said it is not a problem how they bring sheet inside that is done mathematically so again it is a non perspective projection wait i'll show you something so here is jepson and root chart which you use for navigation when you open the first folder when you open the first fold in this chart like this here on the top left i have taken a just a photo of this exactly matching this what it is uh, that's why i said this a how this folds are is very interesting way any information which you want so when you open this on the top left you can read here something i will enlarge for you here lambert's conform a conical projection standard parallel of 9 degree and 35 degree okay so the bottom one on this chart is if i want to look on this all these places are somewhere starting at 9 degree latitude going up to 35 degree north latitude that's how it is okay if i read here it is written 31 degree 13 minute if i come at the bottom the place is in fact the other side if i come because it's a continuation it will be somewhere 9 degree so this chart although it looks rectangular in the fold when i open it and i spread it it will actually acquire a shape like this but it is folded in such a manner you will always find it is rectangular but actually it is not it is the shape is a taking a gradual arc kind of thing okay so what we use for navigation is lambert's conformic conical projection many time this question is asked in atpl viva also they give the chart captain tell me what is the latitude of origin and what people start doing it where is the answer answer is here latitude of origin is midway so its midway origin will be what 34 plus 9 44 divided by 2 is 22 degree now it is the midway latitude is latitude of origin it is not given here on the chart you are looking at the wrong place clear on this so what we use as a pilot is lambert all these jepson charts are and like i said any chart which you want to open in your life you open you will find on the left side this is given now outside this obviously it is no use to us clear on this so in this class we saw how a simple conical projection is modified mathematically by choosing two standard parallel to make it orthomorphic and it is referred as lambert's orthomorphic conical projection and which we use for jepson charts so today class we will stop it here in the next class we will study the last projection which we are left with zenithal or azimuthal projection till then stay tuned this is your captain surinder singh